Morning folks, it's still a bit dark isn't it? It's about half nine, um, I thought it should be a bit lighter than this, however these dark grey skies mean that the storm that they talked about coming this week, which is supposed to come about midweek, probably is on its way, wind's picking up a little bit. Anyway, never mind any of that, I've just got down to the, uh, the bottom of the, the push up track, should be stoked because I've just put a brand new chain on my chainsaw and brilliant let's crack on just realized I've left my wedges and my um, my cables right up at the top not a great move so we're gonna start the day off with an early morning hike let's go and get them so problem over or problem solved I managed to grab my uh, bits and pieces that I've left up there um, right now I'll just move this back a bit you can see that I'm stood on what is an old uh, forestry track you can probably see the, the deep rut where the old machines are man possibly even horse and cat have come up and down here years ago uh, you can see that there's one or two trees right in the middle of this track this and this is going to be used for the push-up track now whilst it's not a major problem because essentially you're just pushing a bike it would be better if they were out of the way so um, just make life easier for getting up but this is the direct route that we're going to, it's going to take us all the way up to the top so I'm going to clear that out now and uh, let's crack on Right, so, somewhat kind of typically, just got into it, now I've just started to get warmed up and uh, the heavens are about to open, it started spitting and I think there's some decent rain coming. So the idea is just before the heavy rain comes, grab a bite to eat uh, and then get this one down behind me done and pretty much lay that on where I'm standing now and then get further up into the wood and uh, it helps helps keep the rain off a little bit being undercover so let's crack on and get bite to eat check emails and see if anyone's rang square that then up in the woods it's a way forward gotta be honest with you felling trees when they're all kind of blown around like this is a bit mad um it's it's a bit weird i'll try and get you a look up and see i don't know if you can see them all blowing around up the top there but it's, the wind's starting to pick up a little bit here, it's got to pick up throughout the week but you know, there's jobs to be done so we're going to crack on through it um, one thing I, I maybe didn't mention is about the, the, the idea that I've got this business loan organised one of the things I should say about that is the, the reason that I'm doing this now uh, and I've stopped working on GDH1 is uh, when you take out a, a business loan like this it can, be, it can put a lot of pressure on the first year of the business so what you don't want to do is you need to plan it smartly and what you don't want to do is apply so much pressure on yourself that you end up offsetting some of that onto the customer i.e by raising your prices um, so you need to be very smart about taking a small loan uh, and then once you've taken that small loan then you've got to be doubly smart about what you do to maximize its effectiveness so part of stopping working on that trail over there and coming and sorting out push-up routes uh, and getting a little bit more felling done ready for the diggers coming in is just about maximising the effectiveness of the loan so um, it all seems a little bit from the outside and without getting into business analytics of it all it might seem a little bit disjointed to, to be doing that and then stop and, and start doing something else but it's just all about maximising this loan and making sure it can, I can spread it as far as possible and get the best use out of it basically that's the idea so uh, I want to keep fingers crossed this window dies down a little bit. I've got the route planned now for the top part of the, the push up and now it's just a case of cutting our way through. Right, I've almost made it to the top of the push up track. Uh, I was going to say the first push up track because this is the, there's going to be two. Um, I intend for this one to come straight up here, um, so where's here? At this point near the top, you are right in between um, Magic Bus, excuse me. In fact, you'll be able to see people coming down Magic Bus. Uh, right next door to Elementary, and you can see through to get to the chopper. So, if you're coming down any of these three tracks, expect to hear some whoops and hollers from people on the push-up and a bit of a few shouts of PIN IT! So, it uh, should be cool. And um, all that remains now is to cut off these end pieces and then just make sure that I can get right right the way around to the track that uh, that I was working on before. 
uh, and then there's more stuff to cut. So there you go folks, that's today's vlog. Um, the thoughts just occurred to me that I haven't cleaned the air filter out on the saw for five weeks now, which is way too long, so I'm gonna head back and get that tidied up and blow it out, probably give it a wash. I don't know if it is one that you can wash actually, whether it's, I can't remember whether it's paper or cloth. Anyway, it's time to get that sorted out because it, it's starting to sound really rubbish and I'm pretty sure that it's the air fuel mix, so we'll sort that out. Ah, uh, rain's here now, starting to get dark. Tomorrow's another day. Thanks very much for your time, folks.